viewers. Hello viewers, I am Israel and I'm here to um, engage you on the circulation of blood around the cardiovascular system. Before I proceed, I would like to ma make mention of some basic or fundamental um, principles such as the um, division of the heart and then vessels that transport blood in and out of the heart. To start with then, the heart is actually a four-chambered structure. We've got one, two, three, four. The two um, chamber at the top of the hearts are actually called atria, which is the pleura for atrium, just as we've got stadia to be the pleura for stadium. So we've got one, two, um, atria, we've got the right atrium, left atrium. And for the um, lower bit of the heart as well, we've got the ventricles. We've got one, two, and we've got the, that's the right ventricle, and that's the left ventricle. And for the vessels that engage in transportation of blood, or flow of blood around the, the heart and the rest of the body as well, we've got the vein, which actually fake blood into the heart, back into the heart, so we can look at vein, vein starts with a V, and if we look at V, it looks like a fornell, obviously within, without the bottom path, and the fornell is actually used to, um, to fill in substance, most times fluid, but we could do some solid as well from one container to the other, so the, the shape V for vein shows us that it's actually going back into the heart's and then we've got the artery, it starts with an A, which means it takes blood away from the heart. Because away starts with A and artery starts with A. So if we know these principles, they will actually help us when we come to explanation of the uh, circulation of blood around the heart. And there is um, this acronym I would like to mention, which will enable us to um, explain the circulation of blood around the heart more easily because we want to know what um, type of blood the heart is receiving, each side of the heart is receiving the right and the left. So that will be able to help us to do that. So the, ac uh, the um, acronym I talked about is actually LORD, as in L-O-R-D, LORD. L starts from left, then the O is oxygenated, which means the left side of the heart will receive oxygenated blood, whereas R is right and V means deoxygenated. So we've got the um, right side of the heart, this right side of the heart receiving deoxygenated blood and the acronym LORD. So just as a matter of choice, I shall start the explanation from the right side of the heart. It doesn't matter which um, side we actually start the explanation. So. The, oxygen, the right side of the heart, more specifically, the right atrium, the top part of the heart, receive deoxygenated blood from the rest of the body via the inferior, which obviously the word inferior means it's at the bottom, and we've got the superior as well, vena cava. So inferior and, inferior, um, inferior and superior vena cava will actually channel back deoxygenated blood to the right atrium. So the atrium will the atria because the bulge will contract. When it contract, the blood will then get channeled into the right ventricle. And we've got a, um, a valve here which is known as the triscuspid valve which actually prevent the flow back of blood from the ventricle back up into the atrium. So when the ventricles contract, we've got the blood from the right ventricle going into the pulmonary artery because obviously, like we said earlier on, artery will take away blood from the heart. But this is called pulmonary artery because it's taking that blood to the lungs where it will get reoxygenated. So for it to go through, we've got this valve here as well, which is the pulmonary valve. So the pulmonary valve opens and then the blood goes through to the pulmonary um, artery, gets into the lungs in the alveoli, it gets reoxygenated, dump its carbon dioxide into the lungs, 
and then the oxygenated blood now has to return back into the heart and it will go to the left side of the heart, which in this case it will start from the top, which is the atrium. So, and like we said earlier on, the vein will return back blood to the heart. So, this vein, which will be returning the blood back to the heart, is called the pulmonary vein because obviously pulmonary is got to do with the lungs and the vessel taking back the blood to the heart. It's a vein, so hence the name pulmonary vein. So it delivers the blood to the left atrium, and once this blood is delivered to the um, left um, atrium, the atria will contract again, and then the blood will be channeled into the left ventricle. And this valve, in this case, that actually prevents the flow back of blood to the left atrium is actually called the bicuspid valve, and some literature use the word mitral valve, so it's still the same thing. And then when the ventricles contract, the blood, which is oxygenated from the left ventricle, will then get channeled into the aorta. But before it goes there, it will have to go through this valve, and the valve is actually called the aortic valve. Though the collection of the aortic valve and the pulmonary valve is known as semi lunar valve, and from the we can actually break that down as well because semi, which is saying, no, no, semi lunar, lunar has got to do with moon, and the semi bit is saying half moon, and um, the combination as well of the um, bicycle speed valve and the, and the bicycle speed valve from the left and the tricycle speed valve on the right is actually called arterial ventricular. Um, valve because obviously they are actually originating and uh, preventing the flow back of blood from uh, from both ventricles into their respective um, atria. Then this blood gets channeled into the aorta, and as soon as it gets into the aorta, and the aortic valve is preventing the flow back of blood, then the blood gets delivered across the rest of the body, which is the systemic circulation, delivering oxygenated blood to the cells, tissue and organ for the, actually for there to be cellular respiration where energy is actually being produced in the form of ATP and then along that we've got the waste product which will be water and carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide which then the blood now becomes deoxygenated which because it's lost part of its oxygen it carries that deoxygenated blood which is rich in carbon dioxide back into the right atrium and the same proce process carries on again. So that's basically what happens with the circulation of uh, blood around the uh, cardiovascular um, center uh, system. Thank you very much for um, your audience and um, I will let you to ponder on this. We'll see you next week when I'll be making some more uh, videos on basic physiology and um, anatomy. Thank you very much. Bye.